which one here and continue on with our air fairies um, section and our air elementals. I'm going to talk to you about um, finding air fairies in the home. And I've got a little few methods for you to bring them into your home. Now, we all know that experiencing um, the air fairies in their own habitat is glorious and uplifting. But you can start at home by offering your affinity with them. This will be especially beneficial if you wish to attract one of the beings that we've already gone through. So if you need a certain thing happening, this will be beneficial for this to happen. Now, what you will need to do this, you will need to set aside a small shelf, which can be similar as an altar, which is basically like setting up the air altar, which I've done videos on before. Um, your altar with white or pale blue cloth if you wish and also choose candles of pale blue or white incense is desirable on any altar but for air fairies especially it is important as most of us know that we use incense to represent the element of air invest in a sensor which you can swing um, therefore establishing your you you basically using that to establish a connection with the air with this fragrance essences that are specially appropriate with uh, the element of air are orange um, begonia lavender lemongrass and pine although naturally you can go with whatever feels right so usually on 90 percent of my altars I do use um, dragon's blood. Now, I can use that for a fire altar and an air altar because dragons are part, part and parcel because they fly. You can link them into the um, air elemental as well. They're mainly with the element of fire, but you can in some ways link them in. Um, an oil burner is also wonderful, allowing the gentle fragrance to rise. On your altar, place anything that reminds you of the element of air or found in places that you feel or felt to be full of these uh, elementals. Feathers are an obvious choice along with um, windborne seeds such as sycamore keys, will-o'-the-wisps and even dandelions. Pictures of cloudy or aerial scenes are good as are figures of birds, butterflies, crystals, um, choose jasper, aventure, or agate blue, lace, agate is especially appropriate. And certain flowers also have traditional airy um, associations including um, clover, dandelion, um, eyebright, lily of the valley and meadowwort. Whether the fairies of these flowers would agree probably depends on several things again. Go with what you feel. And that's what I always say in all my videos, you go with what you feel. This is just the basics. So from what I'm telling you, this is just the basics. This is this isn't like a set in stone, you must follow this. This is just giving you ideas. To attract the blessings of any of the air spirits mentioned in my previous videos. Um, honor him or her on your altar for instance if you wish to seek wisdom ravens and ruins invoke Odin um, stars bring with them the eternal mysteries of Arianud again I can't pronounce this one very well if you wish for the inspiration of the Anansadi then uh, a mini version of a musical instrument will help you will help your magic. Because the air spirits have such affinity with thought and communication, they can help you with all matters connected with them. Place on your altar a pen, especially a quill pen and a scroll to speed up correspondence. You even you, you could even put your um computer discs there underneath the crystal um, basically what that is saying is basically the best way to attract 
the um, air fairies into your home is through setting up some form of altar for them. Um, I always think this for whichever one you want to work with the most. Always set up an altar for them. I will be going through more different ways of setting up altars. I have previously done that in videos, but I think having a, a wider range of ideas for altars is a good idea. Um, I will be doing to a track one in the wild, and then we're going on to a few spells. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a basic one for you. Um, it's just trying to get you, ba basically what I'm trying to do with all these videos is get you to understand the fairies and what they do, what you can do with them. There are many different books out there that you can read. Um, obviously each book's different and has a lot of different things in them. They do link in very well. Um, books, you'll be able to read book one book and see in that book that this is, this is very similar to what's in that book. And then you can adapt it into your own way, which is the best thing to do I think. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and bless it be everybody.